What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, The Goods, and we are back for episode number 15 of 14, Jesus Christ, of Ace Attorney. In the last episode, chat, we did a bunch of investigating, and it took way too long. I took way too long. So, we need to go to Grossberg Law Offices and get a fucking move on, because I have a plan, actually. You guys are seeing this now um it'll be what is that the the 16th when you're seeing this it is the fifth when i'm recording this i'm trying to get stuff done in advance so i can actually enjoy my free time so when i'm sitting here recording i can bust it all at once get in that grind set um you probably can't even see any of it there you go yeah it'll just just a little written down of like the calendar and uh geez, my hands look so big when you like put them up there um <laughs> but yeah, I got it all. So I'm gonna I'm finishing up the week after this current week, so the next week, and then um, I'm gonna try and fit all of this so that things end. Ace Attorney ends on episode 26. Uh, I'm gonna do Delta Rune because Undertale finishes way too soon, um, and then obviously like it, it it's just it's all a work in progress. But what I'm gonna do is things are all gonna end at the end of the year. This season is gonna finish out the year. Um, and I'm going to try and record a bunch in advance so that I have time to plan out the year as best I can in, like, seasons. Obviously, I don't know how long things are going to take, uh, but I'll plan just, like, maybe three... Well, no, three seasons took six months, so I'll probably plan, like, five. Five total seasons. <laughs> and then, you know, go from there. Um, but y'all have five different seasons, so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> ah, an old-fashioned clearing of the throat. Ha ha! You owe me a something, or you not? I was her understudy, yes, Phoenix Wright. Ha ha! And you, you owe me a something too, are you not? Hey, little sister, yes. You've grown! You've come to look a lot like your sister, you know. It takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Uh, Mr. Gr I, I, by the way, I'm definitely botching his voice how I did it originally, I just don't remember. Um, Mr. Grossberg, sir. Mm hmm Ah, yes, I beg your pardon. Of course. You came here to discuss something. What is it, then? Something the matter? He's gonna talk so much, too. Uh, there was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I, uh, just got up, you see. Well, Miles Edgeworth shot someone with a pistol. Edgeworth? What? Who did he shoot? Well, the identity of the victim's still unknown. This is terrible news indeed. I guess he hadn't heard anything. Mr. Grossberg, whatever happened to that painting? Oh, yes. I do not think it shall be ever be coming back home to this office. I can't exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's my just desserts. Old, bitter desserts. That did absolutely fuck all, bro. So, this is the moment the crime took- Oh, so this is the moment the crime took place, eh? Yes. You can't really say for sure that's Edgeworth. I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Not sure at all. I... Yeah, I... I, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> I, I legitimately don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. I guess I can present everything just to be safe. Oh, here we go. Hmm, strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. <laughs> Did you remember? He was a lawyer here in my office. That's Hammond. Robert Hammond. <coughs> Fuck, I need him to stop talking. Mr. Hammond? And you say this is the man Miles Edgeworth shot? Alright, well that unlocks some dialogue. Who is this Hammond guy anyways? Mr. Hammond, he was the defense attorney in that case. That case? Yes, the DL6 incident. DL6? Why does that sound so familiar? Perhaps you remember. I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial for Mia's murder? That was the incident where the police were so at a loss they used a spirit medium. Wait, you don't mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium, Miss Fay, your mother, contacted the spirit of the victim. But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. The DL6 incident, yes. Happened 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. 
is to use her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Our testimony led to the charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hammond won the case and the suspect was declared innocent. And the police blame my mother, calling her a fraud. You were the one who helped her out then, right, Mr. Grossberg? Uh, yes, yes, quite. Thank you. No, please don't mention it. DL6. Never thought I'd hear that name again. But wait, what does that have to do- or what does that case have anything to do with Mr. Edgeworth? It has everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the DL6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. Yo, that's actually insane. What? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. <coughs> Fucking Christ, he needs to stop. Hey, this is a photograph of my mother. Why is it so much easier to do Maya's voice than fucking Grossberg? Why is it so much easier? Oh my god. What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? <clears throat> it's no concern of yours. Guess he hasn't found anyone yet. Can I just like, just, just cut to the... <clears throat> Edgeworth? It's only a matter of hours since you last visited, that you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it, I'm impressed, right? You are always single-minded in your work, though. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? About the DL6 incident. Right, DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That's why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if it sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But, I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask, ask whatever you like, and I will answer to the best of my abilities. Perfect, bro. The DL6 incident was when my father died. Hey, yo! Right before my eyes, he was shot and killed. I saw it all! My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. It's pretty clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond... Oh, and Hammond is the victim in Gord Lake murder. Correct. Um, that spirit medium, that was my mom. What? You mean you're... It's strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end. And now this. About to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago on December 28th. December 28th? The statute of limitations of the case runs out in three days. What? Um, Nick, what does that mean? When a case's statute of limitations runs out, legally the case never happened. Three days from now, DL6 will be closed forever. What happened to the suspect? The one who got off innocent? I don't know. He disappeared from public view. No one knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can understand why he'd go into hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being a murder suspect in such a big case. Um, so was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Edgeworth. He was quite famous at that time, apparently. So, you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps? <clears throat> I'd rather not talk about it. <clears throat> hmm. Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind to point a gun at anyone, no. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right. It pains me to ask you this now. I know, you want us to defend you. Yes. Will you? Of course we will. You already know, dude. Who would have guessed this day would come? Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back? For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind. I guess you don't really need to know. Huh? My letter of request. Please give it to Detective Gumshoe. 
That's right, this is the last, um... This is the last trial in this game. And then there's the DLC. I found that out recently. I guess we should. What's that? Earthquake! Nick! It's a big one! Ah! It's coming down! Whew, that was scary. <laughs> Happened really fast. Oh, where's Edward? Where's Edward? There! He's on the floor in a ball, shivering! I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. I've heard of running, but curling up in a ball? Well, I guess we're done. Mr. Edward doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Uh, right. We have to give Edgeworth letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. I feel like my tongue is too big in my mouth. <coughs> What's going on here? Eek. What's wrong, Detective? This wild lady comes in here just a while ago, says she came to talk to y'all about hearing what Mr. Wright had to say. What's this all about, pal? A lot of hearts. Why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edgeworth a death sentence, pal? D no, not at all. Just... I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Are you trying to say something about the way I do my job? Uh, no, sir. I feel like I'm doing his voice wrong. So, what did Mr. Hart say? He's like, She says she saw Mr. Edgeworth fire the pistol. Fuck, I can't. Grossberg fucked me up, dude. Grossberg fucked me up. Ooh. Oh, you know what I do have, though? Ugh. Hold on, I got I got cold and cough medicine. Hold on. What? She even had a photograph to prove it. If I can get it open, fucking Christ. It's gotta be way over there. It is, yeah. Right, I saw it too. But you really can't tell from the photo who it is shooting. That's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. Ugh, fuck it, there it is. Is that gonna press it in a twist? She said it'll drop the quality of mine, but it should let us see who's who. Yeah, keyword should, bro. Yeah, I, I felt myself getting sick, so I picked up some cold medicine while I was grocery shopping. Ah, uh, I proceed to spill it all over myself. Oh, that's so awful. She could do that? Okay, so there's gonna be an enlarged photograph that shows Edgeworth in the act. Ugh. Oh, great, just great. In any case, she's going to be the one testifying tomorrow. Christ. Oh my god. Oh, that cleared my whole nose. Okay. Huh? What happened to the other witness? Well, apparently there was a cancellation. Cancellation? Hold on, let me... Oh, let me go... Let me hold on. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's awful. I'm laying my candle, bro. I'm afraid tomorrow's going to be life or death for poor Mr. Edgeworth. We got a witness who says she saw the very moment of the murder. And we got a photo taken when the shot rang out. So it sounds like a pretty unwinnable case. But wait, what did Mia used to say? If he's innocent, there's got to be something I've overlooked. Let me try and light these real quick. I actually pull this off or I burn myself alive. Nope. Well, maybe. No, it does that shit. It like, look, it like burns up the entire fucking match. It's been like 20 seconds, bro. These suck so much. be quick about it too. Bro, if you don't like the fucking wake, bro. There we go. Got him. God, it's always a struggle. Oh. Oh, man. If he's innocent, there's gotta be something I've overlooked. <laughs> Sounds like Mr. Edgeworth's going to the state to assign a public defender. I was just asked to file the paperwork. But you still got time, pal. Go talk to him for me. Okay, wait. I already... I already... I already did that. I, uh, was I just supposed to present it and then move on? Look what I got. <laughs> hey, you did it, pal! Glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I'll rip them up and start new ones for you. Thanks, detective. Well, see you, well, see you in court tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal. Hey, you guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? 
We're fine. I lived out here my whole life. I'm pretty used to it by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm gonna go check on him. You two go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later. I wonder what it is with Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. I wonder. He was never that scared of him when he was in school. Uh, maybe it's some, um, uh, you know, PTSD. My baby got a PTSD. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edward. <laughs> to be continued. Yeah, I see like 15 more whole minutes of fucking investigation. To be fair, to be fair, bro, to be fair, not even my fault. <laughs> not even my fault. But yeah, when you put it onto like an actual graph like this and it shows I have like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10... 12 more episodes, bro. It feels like I want to slow down a little. But I know this is a long trial. This is the last one. I also know <laughs> the DLC is like seven hours, bro. Karma. That's right. Manfred von Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. He hasn't lost a case in his 40 year career. Oh, fuck. I got a fucking voice von Karma, bro. He's a god of prosecution, right? A god. Not a single case? They'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. Hmm, sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. Hmm. <clears throat> you don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. It's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. He taught me what it really means to prosecute. What? Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me, multiplied by a factor of ten. Uh, so was he your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. <laughs> and now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep! Oh wait, maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. <clears throat> Not a chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years! He's as ruthless as me times 20. That's pretty ruthless. <clears throat> like I said, he's a god amongst prosecutors. <laughs> I guess that's something like Mia was to me. Speaking of Mia... Uh, Maya? Uh-huh. We could really be using me as help right now, don't you think? Oh, I can't. Sorry, I tried. I really tried, but I couldn't reach. You couldn't reach? <laughs> I think it's because I haven't been training. My powers are weak again. Aw, oh, man, what bad timing. I'm really sorry. I'll try my best. I hope so. What are you whispering about? Oh, it's nothing. Well, it's time. Let's head in. <coughs> oh, man. December 26th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number three. Yo, he look like that. What voice am I giving him? Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Uh, Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? What voice do I give him? I guess he's the final boss. Fool. You seriously think that I would stand here were I not completely prepared? Right, my apologies. He's even got the judge scared. Very well, your opening statement, please. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Uh, nothing, of course. That should be fine. The prosecution may call its first witness. What's with this guy? Is he royalty or something? How am I supposed to fight against this? I call the detective in charge of this case, Detective Dick Gumshoe. Alright, Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. <clears throat> Describe the incident, now! Yes, sir! Detective Gumshoe looks nervous. Uh, please take a look at the map. The murder happened late Christmas Eve, around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on the boat. Now, there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 12.10 a.m., she heard two pistol shots. Then the boat started to move. It went towards the boat rental shop. Hmm. Overheard map added to the court... Overhead map. Overheard map. Added to the court right here. Testify to the court about the arrest. Now. Oh, wait, Mr. Von Karma. Yes. Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proceedings. He really says it. Uh-uh. Wrong. There was only one thing you need to do here. You will slam down your gavel and say the word guilty. That is your role. 
Yes, of course, you're quite right. No, he's not. All right, it's time to cross-examine this guy. Uh, oh wait, I have to read it. A man called into the station about 30 minutes after midnight. We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all, but the next morning a body was found in the lake, so we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. Hmm, I see, very well. Begin your cross-examination, attorney, now. Shit, okay. I mean, straight to the point. Halt! That's not what I do. Halt it! You received a call from a man. Er, uh, yep. You said there was a woman camping there. She was the one who heard the two gunshots, right? What does he sound? Did you hear that? Did you hear the way he sounds? Objection! Did you hear that, bro? The man and woman who called in the report are two different people, obviously. I'm not doing the, like, flowy Omega voice that you don't even know about yet. You'll know, you'll know at the end of next week. <laughs> different people. There were two witnesses. Their testimonies were quite similar, however. Today, I've summoned the woman who was camping. The woman who was camping, a lot of heart. What happened next, detective? <laughs> we had to do the scene of the crime as fast as we could. Hold it! How long is it between receiving the report and your arrival at the lake? Er, well, I'd say it was about three minutes. It's pretty fast. Our motto for the month is get there quick. Why does he sound like that? That's throwing me off, bro. My, my entire brain is just fucked. Detective, you will refrain from casually revealing department secrets. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. I look forward to your next year's salary review. So if Edgeworth is like head prosecutor, then who the fuck is Karma? Unless he's head prosecutor and I'm just getting ahead of myself. So much to look forward to these days. This is no time for detective daydreaming. Continue. Yes, sir. What are my, like, options again? <laughs> Camera's loud noise faces the lake. Time of death sometime on the 24th to 25th. <clears throat> Wait. <laughs> See, my thing is like... Should I present the time? Should I pre I'm gonna save and then present the time. <laughs> like I feel I feel like that's an important detail. Yeah, okay, no, that's not it. Maybe I just need to press him more? What was Mr. Edgeworth like when you saw him then? Well, from what I saw, he looked pretty relaxed. Not like a murderer at all, really. Objection. Detective, the court requires facts, not your opinion. How many years have you been on the force? <laughs> facts only, detective. Hard, cold, objective facts. Yes, sir. Man, he's got his share of objections. <laughs> Why didn't you think he was suspicious? Well, you should know. We have a deep trust and relationship with the prosecutors. Objection! Detective, the court isn't interested in your musings. Deep, trusting, poppycock. Certainly a phrase. <laughs> I've never heard so many flippant comments from an active detective on the force. <clears throat> detective Gumption doesn't look so good. Continue now. Hold it. <laughs> Did you find any clues in the body? Single bullet was recovered from the body. He was shot through the heart fatally. Judge, here's the bullet. It didn't strike bone, so its shape is well preserved. Very well, the court accepts this bullet into evidence. Oh, okay. Wait. Wait, what did that say? Twenty-two caliber pistol. Does that matter at all? Well, why is that? Oh, we found the murder weapon on the bow. A pistol, Detective Gumshoe. Please revise your testimony. The murder weapon found on the bow was decisive evidence. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold it. 
What about the pistol made of decisive evidence? Tusk, tusk, tusk. Ah, he has the same evil laugh as Edgeworth. There were fingerprints found on the pistol in the boat. They were clear prints from Mr. Edgeworth's right hand. What? It's pretty important. Order, order! So Mr. Edgeworth's fingerprints were found in the murder weapon. Yes, Your Honor. Judge, this is the weapon in question. Accept it into evidence. Fired three times. Members of the court, we now have the pistol used in the murder and the bullet found in the body. Detective? Yes, sir. Was the bullet found in the body fired from this pistol? Yes, yes, the ballistic markings on the bullet match the pistol. Hmm. Hey, Nick, what does he mean, the ballistic markings? Shocking to imagine someone here does not know something as basic as ballistic markings. Nick, he's glaring at me. <laughs> Very well, I'll explain. Actually, Judge, you do it. He doesn't know either, does he? Uh, me? <laughs> Ballistic markings are like the fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinctive marks on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Indeed, this leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was without a doubt fired from this pistol. This pistol, which as you may recall, was covered with the defendant's own fingerprints. I mean, how do, how do I refute that? Order, order! This is bad. This makes it look like Edward did it. Well, Judge? I'd say it's almost decisive, yes. Honestly, I could declare a verdict at this point. However... You wish to hear the witness speak, no doubt. Very well. I am somewhat fatigued, and so I will take a brief break. I will call my witness after the recess, which will last ten minutes. Judge? Yes? What are you doing? A ten minute recess now! But, but wait, I... Just bang your flimsy gavel and get on with it, man! Yes? Ahem. This court will take a ten minute recess. Who's running this court anyway? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. How is he getting away with this, bro? December 26, 1109 AM, District Court Defendant Lobby Number Two. Edgeworth, what's going on in here? What's going on here? Your fingerprints are on the murder weapon. Uh, hmm. But that foggy photo makes one thing clear. The only per one who could have shot the man was the person in the photo. True. Was that you in the boat? Yes, it was me. What? But you must believe me, I didn't shoot him. Then who did? I don't know. You don't know? Weren't you right there? I heard a gunshot from very close by. Then the other man fell from the boat. I can't say why, but I thought at the time he'd shot himself. You mean it was a suicide? That's the only explanation I can come up with. Huh. How am I going to convince anyone of that? <laughs> say, Maya. Huh? What? Any progress with Mia? Oh. Sorry, it's no good. Ugh. I know. I'm no good for anything, am I, Nick? If I can't call my sister, I may as well not be here, right? Yeah, you're used now. I need you here. I can see you're always trying to help out. Even if you don't actually help, it's the thought that counts, right? It's okay, Nick. You don't have to make me feel better. I don't know anything about trials or defense. What's more, I'm a spirit medium who can't even contact spirits. Uh, everyone has their off days. I mean, I've just been getting really lucky lately. But you never know when my, ruck's gonna, my luck's gonna run out. Really? Whoa, whoa, right. Don't jinx this case any more than it already is. It's bad for my heart. Oh, oh, sorry. Whoops. That's what I'm saying. Fuck is your problem, bro. Court is back in session. I'm actually gonna stop it here since this is where we're at. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good stopping point. Uh, so, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next week. Um, get excited. Bye!